is not the people who are in that building only, but also the many graduates from that building that really have something to offer to the world. And the reason why we're happy that they do is because they're helping other people. There is an example that others will take from the uh, graduates by saying, ah, this, this man or this woman, um, it's wonderful. Well, look what, what he or she is doing. And why? Because they are graduates of AUA. When I took over as president, I tried to summarize in four key words what education at AUA meant for Armenia. These four words were choice, quality, entrepreneurship, and technology. AUA represents all four of those and introduced that in a transitional society which was moving from the Soviet society to a society that was ready for change. AUA as a university, AUA as Armenian as an institution, as any Armenian institution. It has got concerns of Armenia at heart. Also, AUA is as American as any American university. So to address the second part of this statement, AUA had to be registered and recognized as an American institution. And the fastest way of getting to that was getting our American accreditation. We were able to pull the university up to that standard and this was a major achievement. When I arrived at AUA in 2010, uh, the Board of Trustees had actually commissioned a study about AUA to decide on possible future directions for the university. There were various assumptions that were made at the founding of AUA in 1991 uh, that were being called into question by 2010. One of them is that there was no undergraduate program and there was a good reason for that. It was um, it was felt that AUA should not compete against existing Armenian universities that were being um, under some pressure from the time of the breakup of the Soviet Union, but were still fundamentally sound and still had um, good undergraduate programs. Uh, we didn't want to unfairly compete with them. The Minister of Education and Science was actually telling me AUA should start the undergraduate program because the competition with other universities would improve them, and the result of it would be an improvement of undergraduate education in the country as a whole. And uh, it was discussed at the board level just as I was arriving as president, and it ended up really defining my whole time here. The faculty, the staff, uh, everybody came together to work on this project during those four years. In the last year that I was here, the first undergraduate class was admitted, but it was a long road up to that point. During the course of five years, we were able to more than triple the endowment that AUA has, which is managed by the University of California. Uh, this is, of course, thanks to our donors. But also, very important campaigns that we started, 100 pillars of AUA. We started the Yes, Armenian Women Can campaign, for scholarship for women students in technology and engineering programs. And also we started a campaign for veterans, providing opportunities for education to our veterans who had served their country. I see AUA as a university that expands both in terms of its programs and its facilities, becoming a most important university in the region not only for Armenian students, but also for an international body of students who will enhance the diversity and quality of the university. 
AUA was born out of a natural disaster. The earthquake in 1988 was born to meet some of the areas that weren't being addressed by the other universities. It wasn't founded to compete with, it was founded to provide additional capacity in the areas of earthquake engineering, business, and political science. And it evolved and grew. And now we are in another tragedy, which is going to test us to our core. And AUA will play a vital role, as will every other institution and person, in building the capacity, new institutions, greater leadership, and identifying problems, solving those problems, and leading us to a state where we can once again thrive. We do not need to rebuild, we need to build anew. And education, skills, expertise, capacity will be vital to this. AUA has changed our lives, and it has changed many, many lives in Armenia. I think education, which is very descriptive character for Armenians, is really important for the country, and that's what's gonna keep this country going on. And today is time also for us, first graduates, to join the team of AUA supporters to continue um, and carry the torch for the future generations and to make sure that our institution continues to make change and contribute to our homeland. My experience at AUA shows that people who are really powerful, people who are really successful, are those people who are doing something all the time. So it is not enough only to have amazing and fantastic dreams. You have to make these dreams come true. And it is very important that you keep on moving all the time. I would like to congratulate all the AUA staff, the professors, the management with the 30th anniversary. It's a great achievement. And for the students, I would like to say, have your dreams, set clear targets and move to fulfill these dreams. The success of our past is a prerequisite to shaping our future with high ambitions and tangible goals. In this era of advanced technologies, we have the unique responsibility to grow Armenia's human capital by preparing and educating multi-skilled and competent leaders who are adept at turning information and knowledge into innovation, insight and impact on a large scale. We are now stepping into the fourth decade of AUA's legacy with intensified momentum. And we are propelling forward with a planned addition of a science and engineering building. The new science and engineering building will be a state-of-the-art facility with inviting design and modern labs that will support the university and our researchers, students and collaborators in driving leadership and new innovation in a range of areas of utmost importance for Armenia. This is a significant step forward in building up the growing momentum across campus in support of our university's mission and vision. Education is the religion of the Armenian people. It's in our DNA. Without education, the nation cannot survive. STEM in particular, it will be the most important economic future of Armenia. The role of uh, AUA has to be to develop the STEM education even further. Today, we have been very fortunate that the IT information technology has developed quite well, and we're happy for Armenia and for so many young people. However, IT itself, is not sufficient to sustain the growth of the economic conditions of Armenia. We need more on the production side and develop also laboratories, proper laboratories on the campus and with the future of our programs in developing the facilities for the College of Science and Engineering, we should be quite successful. Science and engineering 
is important in Armenia today, especially to compete with the rest of the world. Armenians don't have natural resources. They have uh, excellent brain power, and I think uh, they can really go forward in the world with that attribute. Zavid and I were inspired and are presently inspired to support AUA because we believe in education. As we know now, even with the great technology developments, there are hundreds of jobs that can't be filled because we don't have the qualified people. And that's why we need this education so we can have the people prepared for the jobs that are available and will be available. And it will just benefit the country tremendously. The depth and exposure in a variety of skills and the right mix of courses and internships are preparing me to lead the next big upsurge in entrepreneurship. I'm going to be a part of designing the next governance architecture to lead the country into creating unprecedented social and public value. At AUA, success comes with hard work and determination. Soon I'll be able to tackle our nation's toughest challenges as a data scientist. Here I am, learning to succeed. Despite the challenges ahead, I am on my way to becoming the leading environmental expert in waste management. At AUA, I found the right elements that resonate closely with who I want to be. Watch me influence news reporting by setting high ethical standards in journalism. Our Build a Better Future with AUA campaign is about meeting real and complex challenges in the next decade. As a cherished member of our AUA community, I invite you to join us in this historic effort. Together, we can make thousands of students' dreams come true. Together, we can make a pivotal change for our research environments. Together, we will build a better Armenia.